In the last few weeks in December, before I took my holiday break, there was quite a bit of a pause in new makeup releases, especially over at Sephora and Ulta. We had some indie releases, but not a lot from Sephora and Ulta, but they made up for it. <laughs> in the last week of December and the first week of January, they have really made up for it. So I have all of the makeup releases that happened over the past few weeks in my notes to share with you today. If you are confused and wondering where our time top news segment, the beauty industry news is for this week. I actually split this video into two segments. So if you're looking for all of the things happening, like Jaclyn Hill closing Jaclyn Cosmetics, the body cream that apparently attracts wolf spiders, uh, tons and tons of beauty industry news, I will link that video down below. That is part one. You are currently watching part two, where we're going to just talk about products, just all the products. We'll also talk about what's in my face today. We'll talk about all of the sales that are happening right now, including Sephora copying off of Ulta for once, which usually it goes the other way around. So many things to share with you in the product realm, so hang tight. We are jumping into it right now. Hello, my friend. Welcome to What's Up in Makeup, where we talk about everything that is happening in the beauty space all in one place. But for this week only, for this week only, it's in two places. Like I mentioned in the intro, the top news segment where we talk about all of the stories for this week is going to be in the description box down below so you can check that out as well. But this show would have been about an hour long, I'm estimating based on the length of my notes. And I know some people, based on my analytics, I know some people really love to watch the top news and some people really love to watch the product report. So just for this week only, because it was such a long show, I've split it up into two pieces. So with that being said, let's talk about the products that were released this week, starting with a brand that I have done sponsor videos for before, but this video is not sponsored, Native. I freaking love Native deodorants. I freaking love Native body washes, and they have come out with a collaboration that I am dying over. It is a collaboration with Girl Scout cookies. And as a former Girl Scout, I have so much Native stuff, but I bought some. <laughs> Did I need more native body wash? Absolutely not. Did I want some? Yes, I got some. I also got some stick deodorant as well. Let me tell you what is going on with it. In the line, they have deodorants. They have deodorant slash body sprays. It's two together. So you can use them as deodorant, but you can also put them all over your whole body. They also have the body wash. They have shampoo and they have conditioner and the scents that they have. Caramel coconut, trefoils, which is a shortbread, peanut butter, lemon, and then of course, Thin Mints. I said to John, I have to know this about my husband, John. He is the biggest peanut butter lover that I've ever met in my entire life. This man puts peanut butter on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime he has a choice, it's peanut butter. I said that there was peanut butter scented body wash and he said, ew. <laughs> He said it sounded absolutely disgusting. So even he, the biggest peanut butter lover that I've ever met in my life, thinks that peanut butter scented deodorant and body wash is weird. And it is kind of weird. But I'm very curious about it. I didn't buy that one. So if you get that one, you have to come back and let me know. I honestly can't remember exactly which ones that I got. I know I got coconut caramel stuff and I'm pretty sure I got a tree foils thing and the thin mint thing. I think I had a tree foils deodorant and the thin mint body wash, but I'll put my card on the screen just so you can see, but I'm very excited and I will report back and let you know how it is. But the problem with the native special things is they go away too fast. Like the candy scented ones they came out with were so amazing that they had sent me for part of the sponsored video. I still use those all the freaking time. They're awesome, but it's so sad when they go away when it's something that I personally really like. That's the only drawback I think to these collections. Anyway, let's Let's move on because we have an exciting launch from ColourPop. Now, ColourPop came out with a while ago the uh, duochrome, multi-chrome eyeshadows. And people, a lot of people really didn't like those. I wasn't the biggest fan. They were kind of sheer. They weren't super shifty because I'm used to the ones that come from indie brands. Uh, some indie brands have come out with those eyeshadows and they're gorgeous and amazing and fantastic, the liquid eyeshadows. ColourPop came out with the multi-chrome eyeliners, and those have been popular in indie brands over the past year or so, and now ColourPop has launched them for $9, which is significantly less expensive than what you can get from like Kaleidos or something. I have a feeling they're probably sitting at where I get my mail, but I haven't been there in the past week, so I haven't tried them yet, and I haven't watched any reviews, but hopefully they're just as good as the indie brand ones, because I do feel like the eyeshadows were a little bit flat as far 
far as the quality compared to ones I tried before. Next release I want to talk to you about that's really big is Fenty Concealers. Those are coming on January 12th. They're called the We're Even Concealers. They come in 50. They say buildable medium coverage shades with a natural second skin finish, visibly improving dark circles and puffiness instantly and over time, and hydrates for 12 hours of crease proof wear. They are going to be available at FentyBeauty.com, Sephora US, Sephora Canada, the Coles, the one that has the the Sephora inside the Coles or the wait. Is it Ulta? Yeah, Sephora and Kohl's. I can get confused. Which it's Ulta and Target, Sephora and Kohl's, but it doesn't say Ulta and Target. It just says regular Ulta. Very curious about this because Fenty is known for their complexion products. I am, cannot wait to see reviews of these. Next, we have a beautiful collection from MAC. It is their Lunar New Year collection. It is called Love Struck Luck. In the line, there is the Molten Metal Highlighter. There's two powder blushes, a branded MAC Stack Micro Mascara, three luster glass sheets, shine lipsticks, a branded Studio Fix Pro Set Plus Blur Weightless Loose Powder, an eyeshadow times six palette called Love Struck Luck, and a branded Hyper Real Fresh Canvas Cleansing Oil. Prices range from $24 to $53 per product. They're just really, really beautiful. ELF is releasing a collection. They've done really well with their collections recently, so I'm not surprised. It doesn't say it's in collaboration with Mean Girls, but it is Mean Girls inspired. The movie, the reboot movie is coming out January 12th and this is in celebration of that. The collection is available now for $33. You get the Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Now that is being re-released. Don't follow this product real, real close so I didn't even notice that it was gone but apparently this Jelly Pop Dew Primer was launched about four years ago and now it's back and on the ad for this specifically it says that it's back for a limited time. We'll talk more about that when we get to Ulta because it is available at Ulta to now. Along with the primer, there is the camo liquid blush in a pink shade, the liquid metallic eyeshadow, the cream glide lip liner, and a glow revival lip oil. Indie brands, not a lot as far as launching, but lots of sneak peeks. The It's January 2024. This is what we have planned for the year, starting with Cleona Cosmetics. They have two palettes that are coming. They are the Paleo palette and the Archeo palette. I'll let you know when I know more about that. Glaminatrix Cosmetics, is launching liquid cheek and lip flushes. They are listed as coming soon. There are two shades shown in the photo, but supposedly there are five shades altogether. Cindy Grace is also launching another collab. It is a woman named Kendra Matthews. Apparently she is an extremely talented bridal makeup artist, which makes sense based on the packaging and the color story and all of that. It says here, quote, she has created a palette that encompasses her three most asked for bridal makeup looks. This color story is perfect for bridal and special occasion looks, but it's absolutely appropriate for everyday wear too. This is launching on January 15th and it is $52. Moving over to Sephora. I don't know what happened, but apparently a lot of brands decided they were going to do shade extensions of, you know, just a few shades adding on to an existing product. I don't normally talk about these, but because there were so freaking many of them, I'm just going to tell you which products to look out for and you can go check and see what the shade extensions were and whether you're interested. It's just too many to do individual products products. So here we go. We have the Kosas Concealer has some new shades. The Dior Addict Lip Maximizer Plumping Gloss has a few shades. That one is super, super popular right now. The Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara is now available in brown. Makeup by Mario Lip Pencils. There's a few new shades there. The NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush and Afterglow Sensual Shine Hydrating Lipsticks both have new shades. The Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancing Highlighter. Now that one says that it's all new but there's lots of reviews like they aren't all new. So I'm a little confused there. So this may be a shade extension as well. Three different YSL formulas have new shades. The Bold High Pigment Lipstick, the Rouge Procouture Caring Satin Lipstick, and the Slim Velvet Radical Matte Lipstick. Also, there's one new shade of the Fenty Treats Lip Oil. And then the last shade extension is from Tom Ford for their Liquid Lip Luxe mattes. Laura Mercier also just launched a concealer. This one's very interesting. It is called the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Serum Concealer, $33. There's 22 shades there. Really nice gradient, it looks like. They say it is a weightless serum-infused multitasking concealer that quickly brightens, hydrates, and smooths while providing medium coverage, up to 16 hours of wear time, and a natural finish. But if you're interested in something a little more seasonal, Laura Mercier has also launched a Lunar New Year set. In the set, you get mini rose 
those Glow Caviar Stick eyeshadows. You get two of them for $28. There's also special packaging available of their translucent loose setting powder to go with Lunar New Year. I saw a lot of hype over this one online over the past couple of weeks. This is the Gucci Gloss Alev Hydrating Plumping Lip Gloss. $42 it does come in six shades. They say a visibly plumping gloss that delivers subtle color with glass like shine and up to 24 hours of comforting, comforting hydration. Now it does advertise a botanical plumping agent. There's two things in there that I saw could be the plumping agent. One of them is ginger root oil. The other one is capsicum, which is a hot pepper extract. So just be aware when you're buying that, you're gonna burn your lips. It's just, that's just what those things do. Some people really like that feeling. Some people find, like me, find that a lot of times it's way too intense and I personally don't like it. But one thing I can say is it does irritate the lips enough and bring circulation to the lips enough that it can plump the lips and really work. I'm very curious to hear what you think of this next product. The Tom Ford Love Collection Eye Color Quad Eyeshadow Palette, $95. It's got the little heart-shaped pants. Now, to you, does that scream like children's makeup? Like bringing down Tom Ford to like something that's really silly and goofy? Or do you see that and say, oh, Tom Ford's trying to do something different and make it prettier and you really like it? Cause I can really see both sides on that. So for you, does it cheapen the brand or does it make it look more special? So curious what you think about that one. Next we have Summer Fridays who cleaned up over the holiday season. Summer Fridays has been very, very popular in their lip balms. Uh, it's like a tinted lip balm. I personally really like them too. They came out with a dream lip oil, which I would imagine would do very well. 26 sellers does come in four shades. Uh, it does look like it has one of those plush applicators with the little, little dippy in it to hold the product. I personally find that it sometimes those hold too much product and it's kind of a lot, uh, but I know those kinds of applicators are very, very popular right now. I can see this product doing very, very well. The next product is one I'm very confused to be honest because I don't let me just show you <laughs> tower 28 and kung fu panda 4 is that a thing like are we are we as adults interested in kung fu, kung fu panda 4 like is that a thing because I've I've never seen or never thought of kung fu panda as in any way marketed to anybody that would buy makeup unless it's like actually a child. But Tower 28 isn't really marketed to kids. It's more of like a millennial, um, you know, adult line. It's not, it's not really a children's line. So Kung Fu Panda just confuses me. I, I don't know. But anyway, if you do like Kung Fu Panda, if you're a Kung Fu Panda fan, uh, there is the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray that you can get that's branded or the Cream Blush and Gloss Kit. They're $28 each. I'm just... Maybe it's just not my circle. Maybe it's just nobody. I Even my children are not interested in Kung Fu Panda because they're teenagers. Well, I have a preteen and a teenager. Like, I don't know. I'm confused by that a lot. What I'm not confused by is new releases from Sephora Collection. They have a ton of new stuff. Sephora Collection has been more hit than miss for me recently, so I'm very curious about these things. We have two different eyeshadow palette collections. The Mini Color Shifter Strange Botanicals Eyeshadow Palette. Four different colorways there. They're $10 each. You get four base shades and then one, they say, exclusive topper to transform and shift your eye makeup look to a new color dimension, which sounds really cool. The other collection of eyeshadow palettes that they launched is the Precious Gemstones mid-size eyeshadow palette. Also four different colorways there, but this time they're $15 each because it's a mid-size instead of a mini. They say it's featuring seven shades inspired by Earth's Precious Gemstones for a vibrant, unique makeup look. Beyond that, they have a new mascara. It is called the Love Lift Curling and Volumizing Mascara. Available in either full size or mini, $12 and $6 respectively. It's described as an ultra black and buildable weightless mascara enriched with gravity defying wax for an instant curl and 12 hour lifted volume effect. And then finally, they have some new contour matte powders. Those come in four shades and then a powder luminizer in six shades. Those are $14 
dollars each and probably the most exciting thing for me that was launched this week well maybe not the most exciting but it's up there the sephora favorite perfect pout lip kit and i don't think this was released this past week but it was released since the last time we did a product report it's 34 dollars, and you get three full-size lip products in there along with two minis like these kits if you are interested in these if you would have bought maybe two of those or at least one of those and you want to try the other ones these things are totally worth it they're amazing so what you get full sizes of for this are the glossier ultra lip high shine lipstick with hyaluronic acid in villa that is a dusty rose shade you also get a full size of the charlotte tilbury matte revolution lipstick in pillow talk which is a medium warm berry pink and then the rare beauty kind words matte lipstick in humble which is a rose mauve those are all full size then you get two mini sizes of the tarte maracuja juicy lip plumper in honeysuckle which is a black cherry color and the clarins lip comfort hydrating oil in pataya if I was gonna if I knew I was gonna review this I would totally get it or if I didn't have a mega channel and didn't have way too much of this kind of stuff I would totally get it this looks like a fantastic deal Charlotte Tilbury has released a new palette I feel like this came out during the holiday season but it's listed as new I'm just gonna say it anyway even if I've already showed it to you I don't think that I have but I'm not 100% it's the glowgasm face palette $75 it's just real pretty so even if I already talked about it it's so pretty we could talk about it again <laughs> We can totally talk about it again. What I know is new over the past couple weeks is the Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipsticks. Those are brand new, 18 shades, $28 each. No fluff kind of description. It's basically a, ba a basic lipstick. <laughs> he says it's a classic creamy satin lipstick with a soft sheen. There you go. There is also a new brand at Sephora. And when I read the brand story, I was like, oh, I love that. It's so sweet. It is called Iris and Romeo. There are four products available on Sephora's website right now. Prices range from $29 to $50. And I wanted to look into the brand to see kind of what the deal was with it. So on their brand website, it says, quote, we created the original skincare makeup hybrids to help you consume less and get ready faster so you have more time to live like you mean it and I was like come on you did not come up with the first skincare and makeup hybrids and then I saw that they were founded in 2018 in San Francisco I was like oh 2018 maybe you did <laughs> maybe they actually did the woman who founded it her name is Michelle Go Baril. hopefully I pronounced that correctly I tried before she owned this brand she was vice president of brand and consumer engagement at Smashbox from 2004 to 2012 then she founded a brand strategy company that she ran between between when she left Smashbox in 2012 to when she opened this company in 2018. So she does have experience in the space. And if you dig a little deeper on their website, the story, I'm gonna link it down below for you so you can read it in its entirety. But basically the name Romeo comes from her horse and the story is so sweet that basically she was so tired of the BS in the beauty industry and the beauty space. And she just didn't, she didn't like it anymore. She didn't wanna, she wanted to retire from the beauty space. And then she met Romeo and Romeo was a racehorse and he wanted to retire too because he didn't wanna be a racehorse anymore. So then they have this, this friend friendship between her and the horse. The horse doesn't want to be a race horse. She doesn't want to be in the beauty industry anymore. And they're like best buds, right? Then she ends up realizing later on that she's not done with the beauty industry and she really wants to launch a makeup company and do it the way that she wants to do it. And she named it Iris and Romeo. And then she talked about why Iris and Romeo, but I'm not going to get into it too deep. What you really need to know is it's a very cute little story. And then also you need to know what the products are <laughs> now that I've rambled on enough about uh, Michelle and her story. So the products that are available at Sephora are the best skin day SPF 30 whip tinted moisturizer with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Then we have the ceramide multi balm lip and cheek cream blush stick and the weekend skin SPF 50 instant glow mineral sunscreen with vitamin C and niacinamide. And then finally the reset luminous hyaluronic acid and niacinamide serum spray. A couple of products were released at both Sephora and Ulta over the past couple of weeks. The first one is from Benefit. It is the Whoop Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. It is $52. It's one of those serums that you put on your lashes and it's supposed to make 
your lashes grow over time. The applicator actually looks really neat. It's got like this little cute little brushy thing, which I think is gonna be really functional and uh, and nice. So very curious about that. And then Urban Decay released two different brow products. They say that it's supposed to be kind of a companion for the brow blade for $28 each. The first one is called the Big Bush Volumizing Tinted Brow Gel. It is in nine shades. Uh, the brush on this is actually pretty interesting. It has two sides to it. One side they say is to shape and define and the other one is to fill and tint. Really, really curious about this one. They also released the Slick Day Stronghold Clear Brow Gel. They say it tames, styles, and laminates your brows for maximum long-lasting hold that lasts up to 24 hours. It also has two sides on it. One of them is to lift with the comb, and then the other one is to laminate and style. Moving over to Ulta, there's a brand that whenever I see them, I always notice how cute the packaging is, and it's Winky Lux. Winky Lux has released a few products over the past few weeks. Prices range on these from $17 to $19 and they include the Cheeky Rose Liquid Blush that comes in four shades and the Liquid Sculpt that comes in three shades. There's also a Flower Petal Lip Oil. I have one of these from Dose of Colors that I really like. So I wonder what the comparison is between these two products. And then finally, there's the First Swipe Conditioning Lash Primer. And what they say this is used for is that you can use it before mascara uh, to help extend wear and minimize transfer, which I think is really interesting or you can use it as a nourishing lash mask to support better lash quality. So I'm very curious about this because when I think about a lash mask, I think about something that might be like oily, you know, and then, but that's not gonna help with it to wear longer. So I wonder if it's like maybe waxy to help mascara wear longer, I don't know, but it's very interesting to me. Next thing that is interesting, but I have a lot less hope for is this Clinique High Impact Shadow Play Eyeshadow and Definer. They're $34 each. There's 10 shade pairings available. This is what they say about it. On one side, a creamy eyeshadow crayon gently glides on full color in one swipe. On the other end, velvety powder with a precision precision sponge applicator lets you define and add dimension with ease. I feel like we've seen these before and I feel like they sucked. <laughs> Especially the powder, the powder going into the sponge for precision, like I'm not, mm, like even in the photos, even in the pictures they have advertising for this product, like it's like the makeup artist really tried. Like they put their best effort in, but I, I feel like this is not gonna, this is not gonna be good. Am I looking at this wrong? Am I, am I missing something here? Because I feel like we've done this and been there and we realized that it's terrible. I don't know, please correct me if I'm wrong on that one though. This next product, I am very curious to hear what you think about this one. So this is Polite Society. This is the brand that Jared Blandino and Jeremy Johnson, the founders of Too Faced started after they left Too Faced. And I'm, okay. Here it is. Forget social media. I'm dope in real life. Polite Principles Eyeshadow Palette. That is the full name of it. It is $39. There is one review. That review says, quote, personally not a fan of this palette. The name is too long and there is no color payoff with the brushes. The outside color of the palette is cute though. And I agree. I think the outside of the palette is cute. I think it's kind of going where Too Faced was going, where they're, they're really focusing on packaging and not the quality inside, which I guess it worked for them or else they wouldn't do it again, right? I don't know. Have you tried anything from Polite Society though? Because I haven't tried anything. I just, the reviews seem very, you know, mediocre. Like it's very mid. <laughs> the one my kids would say, it's very mid. Uh, it is cute. I don't know. I guess it's just, it's just, I guess it's just because it's just a basic warm palette, but I know there's so many people that love basic warm palettes and there's definitely a market for basic natural palettes. So maybe it, that's why it's not attractive to me. I don't know. What do you think? I want to know what you think. What I'm really excited about though is the next product. The next product, L'Oreal Concealer. True Match, give me some of that. The L'Oreal True Match Radiant Serum Concealer, $15.99, 24 shades, instant dark circle coverage, visibly depuffs eye bags, and helps iron out fine lines. Give me that, if that's possible. Is that possible? <laughs> I don't know if that's possible with a concealer, but you know. Uh, the lightweight crease resistant formula is infused with 1.5% hyaluronic acid plus caffeine to provide 24 hour hydration and all day wear. And it has, this is what really gets me, is it has one of those paddle applicators, which is, in the Makeup Revolution product that I really like. It's a similar one. They call it an iron shape because the one that I have is more of like a hockey stick shape. 
<laughs> the makeup revolution one is it's shaped a little different so but i really like that flat applicator it feels really good on the skin and i like the way that it applies it so i'm all about this this is something that i might actually try speaking of trying but trying in a different way tarte glamazon amazonian clay eyeshadow palette 47 dollars. i love that they tried they put two little pops of color in there to make it not one of those same basic palettes they've released a hundred thousand times uh i do like it i think it's, it's good to put a couple little pops of color in there. It sets it off a little, makes it a little bit more attractive. And then listed as coming soon to Ulta, AF94. That's Halsey's drugstore kind of brand. It was exclusive to Walmart and now it is coming to Ulta, which I'm really excited about. Prices range from just $5 to $10, which I think is great for Ulta to have some lower cost products. And the other thing I like about it is it's 1990s themed. So that was when I was in high school. So I'm all about the 90s. I freaking love the 90s. And I love this is 90s themed, even though it's probably marketed more toward Gen Z. That's okay. That's all right. You can, you can borrow the 90s from us. It's totally fine. <laughs> the products that look the most interesting to me are the Playdate Multi Glow Multi Use Cheek and Lip Color, the Swirled Liquid Marble Eyeshadow, the Give em Lip High Shine Lip Gloss, and the It Takes Two Bronzer Highlight Duo. They also have, which I think is really smart, some not really big colored false lashes. They look similar to the kinds of lashes that I wear my Ardell 120s. They look similar to that size, which I really like and they're colored. Usually you only see colored mascaras in like the really, really big ones. So it's nice that they're small and also they have some colored mascaras as well. So I'm very excited to see more from AF94 and I may pick a couple things up and try it. We talked earlier about the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. It's $10. It's been re-released over at Ulta. It's described as the sticky gel texture. Uh, it leaves a dewy finish. It's moisturizing and it has a watermelon scent. Bobbi Brown released blush. That's what it's called. It's called blush, <laughs> which they have right to call it blush because that's what it is. But I just think it's funny because it's been forever since it's like, what do you have? Oh, it's called blush. All right. It's $36. Comes in 12 shades. I mean, why overcomplicate it? Let's just call a blush a blush. A blush by any other name. And then finally we have from Buxom, the Plump Shot Collagen Peptides Plumping Cream Blush. See, that's what I'm talking about. The big, huge, long name. That's what I'm used to. That's my comfort level. Five shades there, $28. They say it is clinically shown. So this, I don't, I don't know if I believe this. Plumping cream to powder blush that plumps and defines cheeks with a natural blurred filter-like finish. I feel like with that, the only way it's going to do that is if you don't use any skincare. Because anything that that blush can do, your skincare is probably doing it. It's just like probably moisturizer stuff in there. I don't know. I think that mark, um, I don't. Am I gonna nitpick all the marketing? Yes, that's just what I do. <laughs> All right, my friend, it is time for PR or Purchase Product of the Week, and I have some exciting things to share with you. First, I wanna share with you, this was sent to me over the holidays by Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Sorceress Smoke Palette. <gasps> I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that is. I stuck to the more natural shades on here, but on the lower lash line, I did put a little bit of this eucalyptus shade. And I really love this so far, very much so. I am starting to beef up my Instagram a little bit. I'm gonna put swatches of this up on there as soon as I possibly can, hopefully early next week, because I really want you to see this. Uh, the shades here are beautiful. Let me just shade, swatch Sorceress for you. I'll just swatch these shimmery guys because they're fun. They're just really fun, sparkly dudes. And I love shades like this just really gorgeous and they're kind of they're more opaque than I thought that they would be a lot of times these are more toppery but they're like I'm using I wore this one on my eye stay and look how opaque that is and you know with whether it's opaque or not that's really a personal preference thing it doesn't mean that it's good or bad it's just different so it's just good to know what we have there so I'm going to swatch all these and put up a post on Instagram so make sure you're following me on Instagram speaking of that make sure you're following me here too because about 25 percent of the people that watch what's up and makeup are not subscribed and I'm trying to hit a vanity metric of 300,000 subscribers. So hook me up, help me out, hit that subscribe button. And after I get to 300,000 subscribers, you can unsubscribe because I just want to hit it once. And then... <laughs> 
then, and then it can go away. But if you're not subscribed, do me a favor and just subscribe real quick and just unsubscribe later if you want to. I just want to hit that number just one time in my life. Anyway, so that's this palette and I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this look very, very easy to use. Uh, also sent to me in PR was the new Too Faced Naturally Better Than Sex Mascara. It has the same wand as the regular Better Than Sex Mascara, but it is a drier formula. And you're gonna, if you've used the Better Than Sex Mascara, you're probably gonna notice that right away is that there really isn't a lot of product on there. So as a result, it gives some length and some volume, but it's not as clumpy as the regular Better Than Sex Mascara. It's also not as dramatic in the volume because of that. So just kind of keep that in mind. There is some length, there is some volume, but it is a little more natural looking besides the natural ingredients, which is the name of this. That's what it's named for is because it has more natural ingredients, but the whole look of it is just a little more natural. So if you don't like the clumpiness of the regular one and you don't need a huge amount of length and volume, this may be something you want to look into. And then on my lips, this is purchased. I'm actually really excited about this. This is the new NYX Fat Oil Slick Click. Uh, it's all I'm wearing on my lips today. It's such a pretty color. This is in the shade That's Major. And the only thing I don't like about it is the clicking thing. I don't really like it because it takes a while to get it to where product will come up. And that, but if you click it too many times, you can't unclick it. So I'm not a big fan of the whole clicking thing. I think it's gimmicky and I, I really would rather it be in a roll up format. But as far as the product goes, the color payoff is beautiful. The comfort of it, it is so incredibly comfortable. It is really just a glossy lipstick. It's not a sheer lip gloss. It is a lipstick with a lip gloss feel to it. And lasting power on these is really good. Uh, it's just a really nice formula. I'm just not a fan of the packaging. Notable sales this week. We have from Paula's Choice, the Reset Your Routine Sale. It is buy two, get one free over there. Over at Tatcha, they are doing Lucky Bags. And if you're curious about whether I got a Beautylish Lucky Bag or not, now that I'm distracted, yes, I did. I got an XL. As soon as I get my Beautylish Lucky Bag in the mail, I will be doing an unboxing. Phoenix said they may join me, so cross your fingers that they actually do. I really hope so since they like makeup now. I'm really, really hoping they'll be in the video with me. Anyway, back to Tatcha. Let's go back to Tatcha. Uh, they're doing Lucky Bags, but it is different than Beautylish. It is a gift with purchase. So you will get $100 worth of skincare with orders of $100 plus. And if you'll get $200 worth of skincare with orders of $200 plus, uh, but it's a mystery what you're gonna get. It's only while supplies last and you're gonna use code LUCKY24 at checkout to get it. Now we have a few 50% off sales we have the winter savings event at Laura Geller, 50% off. First Day Beauty, 50% off with their winter clearance sale. And then over at MAC, 50% off of select products. The discount is priced as marked. There's no code needed. And then finally over at Sephora, they stole daily deals from Ulta. It's about time the Sephora is getting them back because I feel like Ulta just steals all the sales from Sephora. <laughs> So it's about time. So it's daily deals, 50% off select skincare brands through January 17th. So today is Estee Lauder, Monday is Ulla Henriksen, Tuesday is First Day Beauty, Wednesday is Kiehl's, Thursday is Clarins, Friday is Clinique, and Saturday is Peter Thomas Roth. And that, my friend, for the second time today was What's Up in Makeup today. Thank you so, so much for watching. And also for the second time today, thank you so much to the What's Up in Makeup Facebook hunters. Their names are scrolling below me. Thank you so much for all of your submissions this week. I appreciate you so, so much. And again, if you were interested in the top news segment and you haven't watched it yet, link will be down below. A lot of very interesting stories for you over there. If you were interested in live chat, we are doing that today at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Hopefully you can join us if you can. Can't. I get it. It is no problem at all. A lot of stuff going on. You can always watch it on the replay or listen to it like a podcast. The podcast link is down below. Replay is going to be right in your subscription feed if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you can go to my channel page, click on the live tab. It's there. You can click on it there as well. Thank you again so, so much for watching What's Up in Makeup, especially if you watched both parts. Raise your hand. Give me a little wave if you watched both parts. Thank you so much for watching both parts. And if you did not like that it was split up into two pieces, it's no problem. Some people will like it. Some people will not like it, but just know this is the only week this is happening. And it's just because of the length, because of me taking all of that time off. I just decided to split it into two pieces because that's worked for us in the past. But I know some people don't like it. That's okay. I'm sorry you didn't like it, but it's going back to normal next week. 
no worries. But if you are not ready to go now and you wanna hang out longer, that's cool. Yeah, definitely. Let's hang out a little longer. YouTube's recommending a couple videos for you over here to watch, including a couple of weeks ago's episode of What's Up and Makeup is gonna be down there. YouTube's gonna pick the top one based on your personal viewing history. But if you do need to go, I get it. Yeah, it's no problem. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did. And mad love to you and I will see you in a video very, very soon.